Alright, so I figure after using this here, this here uh, kicking horse welder for the last two years or so, the only problem I have to say about it is these twist lock connectors. After, what was it? Somewhere between 80 and 150 pounds a rod. The twist lock connectors, they don't lock anymore. They just swivel and fall out. So, they make a size of twist lock for these that's one size bigger. I'm not sure of the part number, but they're 20 bucks. So those have to be changed out, but then it's three years after so there's no warranty on that so I have to pay 20 bucks for that but then the amount of welding you get from one of those you can easily do a hundred pounds of rod and then uh, but for basic farm stuff there's uh, stipulations and stuff and what you might call it but uh, if you have a tractor Rim like this one here it has a rust hole in it. The DC on that welder converter is smooth enough that you can use eighth inch rod to weld patches into rims. And it does kick hard enough so that you can take things like the big snow plow, like on this truck here, weld some quarter inch shell channel to the frame. That works. Had the arms on this plow completely blow off and fold over. This truck ran over the plow, completely flattened the arms, welded it back together a few times. So, you know, fix that. It fix that. And what else does it fix? Oh yeah, little brackets here for the shocks on this motorcycle, welds those on, and uh, if you're really decadent in your hand movements, this whole exhaust on this motorcycle here, 16 gauge stainless, you can weld that with a 332nd inch rod. Rod's a bit thicker than the material, but if you flick it right, weld's great. And uh, yeah, like this stuff here, this thin stuff like this, it's pretty easy to weld that with a 332nd inch rod. And that is uh, 204 stainless. That piece I just had. <sighs> Yeah, that's pretty good.